Hi, my name is Lily Smith, and today I'm going to tell you why we should all strive to be more like Kennedy Hamblin. To start, she is one of the most compassionate people I know. Kennedy's calm presence and kind words never fail to brighten a challenging day, and she is always willing to give advice that is wise beyond her years. Additionally, Kennedy is enviably confident. Whether at YIG, in a class discussion, or simply in conversation as she walks through the halls, Kennedy is always willing to speak her opinions, and her eloquence with words makes it hard to question anything she says. She is a fearless leader, an inspiring writer, and an irreplaceable friend, and the class of 2019 would not be the same without her. I am so grateful to have gotten to know Kennedy throughout my time at St. Mary's, and I know that she is going to inspire all of us with her wisdom today. So I give you Kennedy Page Hamblin. I am a person of action. I like to get things done. I like having projects completed, problems solved, chores finished, my day wrapped up, and my mind at peace. As a result, I tend to rush through things. I may not have enjoyed the assignment, and maybe I didn't do it as well as I could have, but it's done. That's all that matters. My pet peeve is standing still. Anyone who has ever walked to chapel or to class with me knows this. If you dare to talk to someone in the hallway when we're supposed to be walking, I will get irritated very quickly. Let's go, hop to it, hurry up. Come on, we're gonna be late. I hate being late. When I finished a Latin project two weeks ahead of time, a few of my so-called friends made a group chat called Kennedy the Overachiever Club. This sounds complimentary until I reveal to you that I was not allowed in the group chat, but my little brother was. <laughs> Imagine my frustration. Now even my family makes fun of my habit of working ahead. The life of a perpetual non-procrastinator is a hard one. <laughs> this mindset has spread to the rest of my life. As soon as I started middle school, I wanted it to be over. And a few weeks into high school, I was ready for that to end, too. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love St. Mary's. But for years now, I have felt ready for college. Senior year, like the rest of high school, like middle school, like my entire life is just the path to something else, something better, and I want to get there sooner rather than later. Or at least, I used to want that. I went to a New Year's party this year, and I fell asleep around 3 a.m. After broken sleep and hazy dreams, I woke up at 5.30 in the morning on the first day of 2019 in a cold sweat. Something terrifying occurred to me as soon as I opened my eyes. Stella McCain was asleep next to me, and I woke her up. Stella, I said, do you know we only have four months of school left? Yeah, she said. She did not sound as surprised as I wanted her to be. What are we gonna do, I asked, that's so little time. We're all gonna be in college soon, and none of us will ever see each other again, and we can never, ever go back to high school. This will all be over, permanently. She didn't say anything because she had fallen back asleep. <laughs> May 4th is the class of 2019's last day of high school. On New Year's Day, I had done the math right. We did only have four months left. Here's another shocker. As of today, January 31st, we have three months left. I realized then that my strategy of going through life as quickly as possible was a bad one. I was losing something important in the process. To unpack a cliche, I am not the kind of person to stop and smell the roses. But there are a lot of metaphorical roses around me. My friends and my teachers, my classes, everyone sitting here in this room early morning drives to school before the sun has come up, when I can listen to music as loudly as I want, the excitement and buzz of a cross-country meet, the white and blue of St. Mary's jerseys, the smell of grass, sitting in the rooms of my favorite teachers, a cup of coffee in hand, curling up on the couch in the senior den and stressing about calculus, going to brunch with my best friends on Sundays and getting dinner with them before prom, We've worked hard these past four years, and for me, it has become a blur, more about the finished product of getting into college than the process of high school itself. 
Gabby Perez loves to remind me that when we were underclassmen and failed an escape room, I angrily said that I don't care about the journey, I just care about whether I win or lose. <laughs> but now, faced with the approaching end of high school, I do care about the journey. I care about every wasted minute, every hour I wasn't working, every time I should have been doing my homework but talked to a classmate instead, every day I could have been reading ahead but instead drove to Midtown to hang out with my friends. I don't want these last three months to hurry up. I don't care if we're late. I don't care if things don't get done. Let the deadlines pass. The finish line can wait. The journey is now. Thank you.